This is Mike Regan, GamingRing.com, with Brian Williams from THQ. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, tell us about SmackDown vs. Raw. It obviously, it was just announced today, and uh, a lot of excitement about the game. Yes, there's a lot of excitement, and for good reason. Uh, this SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 uh, promises to be the best SmackDown game yet. Uh, more, you know, usability, more interaction with the grapples. Players this year are going to have complete control over everything they do in the ring, which is a first for the franchise. Now, um, you mentioned that the, obviously the drivers have been improved over this year's uh, game. Uh, about the creative wrestler, can we expect the same amount of improvement in, in that mode? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it wasn't you know, mentioned today, but yeah, rest assured, uh, our created superstar this year is going to be it's going to be incredible. We're adding about 250 new parts. Uh, we're improving the parts of our old, you know, system. Uh, just beefing up the quality, lots more 3D quality parts so that not everything looks so painted on mm -hmm. to, you know, to the superstars. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely been improved upon, and so is the creative championship as well. Cool. Now, um, how many new moves are going to be in this, this year's game? Oh, wow. I, I can't even keep count. There's going to be a, a, a large sum. A large sum. a large sum of new moves, yeah. I'll have to uh, get back with you later about that. Cool, cool. Um, Let's talk about some of the other improvements in the gameplay. Obviously, you were talking about where the analog where you can control yes. the impact of the move or how you want to perform it. Um, how does that play in the match? Is it, does it make it? Okay, uh, well, as far as the interactive grapples, uh, there is, each player is going to be able to have four of these moves that they can tap into. And that once you know, activated, you know, the player will have, using the right analog stick, mm -hmm. you know, just to use the suplex as an example. Uh, they'll be able to control each action from the lockup to lifting the guy above your head to, you know, walking in the ring, you know, taunting, uh, pretty much getting the crowd behind you. And doing this is like a risk-reward factor. The longer you hold an opponent up above your head, obviously the more stamina you're going to lose, mm -hmm. but you're going to gain momentum as well. So you want to balance that out just, just to make, you know, you don't want to lose, like, you know, lose all your energy on one shot. Yeah. So we, you know, we're, we're adding that level of strategy to it and just want to, you know, make, you know, just add that, that uh, that boastfulness, that showmanship that's so prevalent in WWE, mm -hmm. we want to have that in our game this year. And uh, I think the fans are really going to appreciate that. How many moves are going to be like that? Um, can, can you give us different examples of the moves besides the suplex? Yeah, okay, we have, uh, oh, let me see, DDTs, uh, airplane spin is one move. Uh, wow, what else? Fireman carry, we have military press. You know, being able to actually hold them up and push them up, up and press them. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably, I think, going to be one of the most popular of the grapples. Uh, there's 40 total. And, uh, yeah, it's, I can, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. And even Cruiserweight and Divas specific moves yeah. as well. Yeah, like slaps and, you know, moves that Cruiserweights and Divas would normally perform. 